said I can turn it on in the early morning hours and listen to Brother Swagger. I can listen to Sister Frances. I can listen to Brother Donnie. I can listen to Pastor Gabe or any one of the ministers. And they have one goal in mind, to see as many people saved and brought to Christ as humanly possible. Then she said, Pastors, you need to take note of that and get back to winning souls for the cause of Jesus Christ. Whether you like us or not, there's one thing that you have to admit. Our message has never changed. Thank God that not only has our message never changed, it will never change. Because it's the only thing that works. Like it? If you don't like it, learn to love it. Because it's the only thing going on right now that's worth anything. You see, the devil stops at nothing to destroy you. I want to talk to our young people, our young people for a moment. I know that there are several of you here. But the very moment that you engage in sin, understand Satan is not playing games with you. He's playing for keeps. And that he will do everything he can to ensnare you, to keep you, to keep you away from the things of God, to destroy your life. The very moment you turn on that computer screen, the very moment you grab that beverage, take that hit, is ever seeking to destroy. Man without God is depraved. I've got news for you though. The same Jesus that showed up on the scene then, some 2,000 years ago, He's showing up right now. He's walking past you right now. You're not alone in this. Believe me, you're not alone in this. There's someone that's available and ready to help you in your time of trouble. He's walking by at this very moment. But that's why most people don't like us. Because they can't control us. We don't fit into their box. We don't fit into their schemes. So therefore, oh, that's just that I don't like all of them. So what? I'm not here to impress you. I'm not here to impress your denomination. I'm here for one reason, to preach Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Let the whole world know who you are. I'm a child of the Most High God. I'm ashamed of the gospel. I'm not embarrassed to shout for it. I'm not embarrassed to raise my hands at times. I'm not embarrassed to dance every once in a while because of what he's done for me. I was lost, but he found me. I was sick, but he healed me. I was turned around, but he turned me right side up. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank him all the days of my life. Thank the Lord. That's why we do everything we can to make sure that there's one thing that goes from out of our mouths, no matter who it is, no matter who's ministering, but there's one message that goes forth. You watch on other, and I don't mean to be unkind about this, but you watch other religious television, you got everybody preaching everything under the sun, and nobody makes sense. But that's why when you turn on this network, there's one message. There's many voices, but there's one message. Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I get a little angry at times. Whenever a frog gets more protection of life than an unborn baby. I'm sorry, that's murder. When you kill an innocent victim, that's murder. Call it whatever you want, it's murder. It's wrong, it's wrong, it's a sin. When I see the effects of sin in our young people, I get angry. When I see the stupidity that goes under, under the guise of church in our youth groups and in our churches all across the country, I get a little angry. Because I, listen, the world should not invade the church. But the church should invade 
the world. That's what we're called to do. We're called to go out and to preach the gospel. We're called to go out to the highways and the byways to preach the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. So many of you watching, what have you got to lose? You tried everything. What have you got to lose? You're sitting dying right now. What, are you, what have you got to lose? You're in sin right now. What have you got to lose? You're tired of living this way. What have you got to lose? You tried the self-help. You tried the, the tenth step. You tried this and that. What have you got to lose? It's time for you right now that as Jesus is saying, stretch forth your hand. Just stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand. You've got nothing to lose. But Jesus. Sitting there with that alcoholic beverage in your hand and you're sick and tired of living that way. Try Jesus. Try Jesus. Christian, try the cross. Try it. Simple faith. It's all it takes. Just understanding and believing that everything that I receive as a Christian was paid for by Jesus Christ through what he did at Calvary. What have you got to lose? save you. He can set you free. And Christian, He can make you free.